another way. I believe, however, that the walls we hit in our journey with God are gifts from Him. It is not God's intention that we join the ranks of church leavers. He is changing and broadening our understanding of what it means to be a Christ follower in the 21st century. In ways far more radical than we ever dreamed, like with Abraham, he is taking us on a journey with many twists and strange turns in order that deep, exponential life changes might take place in you and me through Jesus Christ. The sad reality is that most of us uh, will not go forward until the pain of staying where we are is unbearable. That may be where you are today. Receive your circumstance then as his gift to you and open your heart as you read this book to meet him in new and fresh ways. We can't change, or better said, invite God to change us when we are unaware and do not see the truth. In the next chapter, we will examine more closely the top 10 symptoms of emotionally unhealthy spirituality so we can begin to make the changes God intends. So let's pray together now. Oh God, thank you for your grace and mercy in my life. If it were not for you, I would not even be aware of you or my need for your transforming work deep beneath the surface of my life. Lord, give me the courage to be honest and to allow the Holy Spirit's power to invade all of who I am below the surface of my iceberg so that Jesus might be formed in me. Lord, help me to grasp how wide and how long and how high and deep the love of Christ is for me personally. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope that uh, you journal um, 